Hello, I'm Li Wei. I'm ethnomusicologist. I teach Mandarin Chinese and culture at the Rollins College of Florida. Today, I'm going to introduce you a unique ethnic minority music called Dong Zhu Da Ge from Guizhou Province. In past decades, ethnic minority music has been drawing a lot of attention from state media, especially on national TV programs such as CCTV National Youth. Singing contest. In recent years, a new category of singing style emerged, called Yuan Shen Tai Chang Fa. A style implies indigenous folk singing, supposedly original, pure, unaffected by Western or popular music styles. Among the Yuan Shen Tai Chang Fa music, Dong Kalo or Dong Zhu Da Ge of Guizhou Province. And Mongolian Humai throat singing are very popular. Their representative groups have won several big prizes in the CCTV National Youth Singing Contests. So, who are the Dong people, and what is Dong Kalo or Dong Zhu Da Ge? In 2008 summer, I visited Zhao Xin, a place best known for its big Dong villages. And Dong Kalo, an a cappella folk choral music. Zhao Xin is about 400 miles from Guiyang, the capital city of Guizhou Province. There are about 867 families and 3,640 people living in the villages. Dong is an ethnic minority group spread in Guizhou, Yunnan, Hunan, and Guangxi provinces. Their population is about three millions. They speak dialects of the Tai Kao Dai languages, and their culture has a strong influence of animism and the Theravada Buddhism. The Dong are very proud of their rich cultural traditions. There is a local saying, "Dong Renwenhua San Yang Bao, Gu Lou Da Ge He Hua Qiao." That is, the Dong have three precious gems: drum towers, Dong Kalo. And flower bridges. The drum towers are the center of the village, where ritual ceremonies and public gatherings take place. It's a cultural symbol of the Dong. Each Dong village has at least one drum tower. In Zhao Xin, there are five drum towers all together. Hua Qiao. Flower bridge, or Feng Yu Qiao, literally wind rain bridge, is unique architecture that usually consists of the bridge, the pavilion, and the corridor. These bridges are usually built over rivers, streams, or in the wet rice fields. The roof of the bridge provides a shelter in the wind or rain, as well as a place for socialization. Dong Kalo or Dong Zhu Da Ge is a unique a cappella folk choral music. The written history of Dong Kalo can be traced as early as in Song Dynasty, but until 1950s, it remained unknown outside of the region. In 1986, Guizhou Dong Kalo Choir got a first international exposure with their phenomenal performance in France. However, it was until recent media exposure. Dong Kalo has gained national recognition. So, what's special about Dong Kalo, and what's the significance of Dong Kalo in the modern world of China? Well, first, for a long time, music scholars both in China and outside of China believed traditional music in mainland China, including those in ethnic minority areas, are predominantly Monophonic or heterophonic, meaning music texture is characterized by a simultaneous variation of a single melodic line. Most people believe that a polyphony, that is, multiple melodic lines, only existed in Western music. Well, even though Don Carlo is not exactly the same polyphonic texture we hear from Western chorus music, nevertheless, the multi-voiced, rhythmically intriguing Don Carlo. Proves China does have its own 
multi-voiced a cappella folk tradition. Secondly, Dong people don't have written language of their own. Local history and cultural knowledge have been passed down through oral traditions. Dong Kala is an important medium and one of the most effective cultural express forms. The local people always say, the Han people use words and spread their books, while we Dong people use no words but spread our sounds. Our forefathers sang to our fathers, and our fathers sang to us. So music and sounds are part of their way of life. Thirdly, thanks to media exposure, Dong Kalo has now become a name brand in cultural tourism. From what I learned in 2008, from January to October, about 200,000 tourists visited Zhaoxin, which is 9.1% increase from the previous year. The tourist income during the same period is 32 million yuan, or 4.75 million dollars, which is 16% increase from the previous year. The local government has heavily invested on cultural tourism. I was told that since 2000, local government has invested 12 million yuan or 1.76 million dollars on various cultural projects and local infrastructure, including architecture maintenance, road construction, personnel training, and a tourist advertisement. The local government believes by doing all this, they are promoting ethnic minority cultures and further invest, instigate local proud. I will conclude this short introduction by playing a beautiful Dong Kala music called Ga Ba Yue, August, a music that depicts a summer scenery of Dong village. <laughs> 